Hello everyone, welcome to our YouTube channel No Homeopathy and here's Samri Disha Mice here to guide you and in today's video I'm going to discuss a very very important topic that what is the vital force and what its role in the health and the disease and it's a very very important question because majority of the question paper of organ of medicine contain this question so without wasting your time let's start this video so first of all what is vital force in many books it's written that it is a super sensual thing but I want to clear you that it's not a thing. Why it's not a thing? It's only a power. Okay. And uh, it is a power that differentiates living organism from the non-living one. Okay. So, what its power? Because it is a, it is a power, it contains some characteristic. Alright. So, what the characteristic of the vital force? Simple characteristic of vital force, first one, it is immaterial, okay. So, uh, now you are clear that if it's immaterial, how can it be a thing, alright. So, this is a point when you clear about this misnomer, okay. So, it's immaterial because you cannot see the vital force, it's not perceptible. You cannot see the vital force, but you can feel feel the function it's going to perform through the material body all right and uh, that's why it's immaterial because you are about to see the function it is going to perform through the material body in the outside world okay so first one characteristic it is simple that it's immaterial next important characteristic of vital force is that it's uh, automatic automatic simply means it's perform its function automatically no one is going to uh, tell the vital force that you are about to do this function okay and next important feature is that it's autocratic autocratic means highest authority that is going to perform the function all right there is none other authority that is going to tell the vital force that you are about to do this and you are about to do that okay it is the power that is going to tell other uh, organs or other parts of the body to do a function in a certain way no one is going to tell the vital force that you are about to do this function okay so the, it is automatic and autocratic next important feature of vital force is that it is unintelligent and instinctive so the instinctive simply means the impulse the vital force is uh, inborn impulse that is about to do the function like this okay the functions i am going to discuss in the video what are the functions of the vital force but it is already made in such a way that you are about to do the functions in this way okay unintelligent because always do a function the certain way without thinking that it is doing right or wrong okay no uh, uh, you can say it doesn't uh, have such a intelligence to know whether it is right or wrong okay it's only going to perform the function that it's going to do due to the inborn impulse so these are the important features of the vital force that first one it's immaterial next one it is automatic next is autocratic next is unintelligent and instinctive so moving on to the next important part that what is the role of vital force in health okay and it's also an important question because it is asked in your question paper the role of vital force in health so vital force role in health before discussing it you have to read the aphorism number 10 in which it is written by dr hanneman that the material organism without vital force is incapable of performing any functions okay so first one it dominates and control the organism so first important uh, function of the vital force in health is that it dominates and control the living organism okay next one is the role what is the role it uh, provides a harmony between the different physiological activities of organism okay uh, as the different uh, organs are there and they're going to perform the different functions so the vital force is the one which provides the harmony between the different uh, organs okay that are going to do the harmonious action okay 
next important uh, role is that protection what does it protect from it protect from the diseases uh, because a human organism is exposed to the morbific uh, influences okay so it is going to protect the organism with the noxious influences that is prevailing okay so these are the three important role of vital force in the health first one is the domination and control next one is the harmonious action and third one is the protection next moving on to what is the role of the vital force in disease so you know because the vital force uh, maintain a harmony between the different physiological activities but if it is exposed to some noxious influences and uh, the this harmony is break due to this exposure okay although it is going to protect the organism but if this harmony breaks what is going to happen the different physiological activities harmony is going to break and uh, which is going to be seen in the organism it is going to be reflected in the organism as a perceptible signs and symptoms all right the totality of which we constitute it as a disease okay so the most important uh, feature that uh, if the harmony breaks the disease reflects okay so this is the role of vital force in disease that is going to become passive and just seeing what is going to happen in the body all right so these are the important features i have discussed with you in this video all about the vital force if you have not studied what is a simple substance according to dr kent you can go into the description of this video and watch out that video regarding the simple substance according to kent it also contains important information about the vital force so i hope this video is going to be useful and helpful to you and uh, please share out this video with your colleagues your friends who are about to prepare for the same all right if you like this video like it and subscribe to our channel thanks for watching no homeopathy